to be in there first. And anyone who gets here early, well, you're just going to have to listen to me click-clack on the keyboard for a moment while I get everything sorted out. Okay, that one's done. Now we go throw it over here because people keep getting on me for not putting it here. And I could throw it couple more places but I think that'll start to get excessive so we're just gonna leave it at those two places and get this show on the road so we're not sitting here in Lierna of the Lake for the next three hours okay uh, all right I didn't even get the map yet as this character I have more knowledge than I did before because I did a bit of running around. And with a friend of mine just for shits and giggles. But I purposely kept this file where it was. Hey, non-filtered, how you doing? Where is this corpse? Ah, this corpse is right here. Okay. I'll be taking those. I could deal with them, but it is not worth my time. <laughs> That's fine. That, there's a lot of people in that Discord to keep track of with all that. It gets to be insane to try to keep, keep everybody followed and make sure all that's up. Lord knows there's still a lot I need to get around to. I don't think I went in here. No, I, I missed my exit hard. Okay. While it may look like I'm doing something silly, I'm just going to go grab the map fragment before I deal with any of the things in this area. Oh god, do I feel that problem. I haven't been able to stream this as much as I wanted to, which is part of why I was running off in co-op with somebody. Yeah, I know. I was helping them as much as I could while avoiding spoiling anything important for myself. There we go. Steal that map. Bye, creepy guys. We'll see you in a few minutes. I, I've gotten into this kind of bad habit of just sprinting to the map fragment, stealing and running away and coming back into the area properly. <laughs> Fair enough. It's always good time, to, good to spend time with your wife. Oh, right, I forgot my magic sticks on the other hand. Yeah. Because the maps help a lot, because most of the points of interest in an area are going to be on the map. You may have to zoom in to understand some of them, but it helps immensely for finding things. But it's also really interesting to just kind of 
wander around and find things by tripping over them. Because you will find a lot of interesting things that way, too. Yeah. Do I want to go in here, or do I want to backtrack for something I found? Mm -hmm. Nah, I'll just keep going this way. I actually haven't gone this way that much. Oh, yeah, there is an insane amount of bosses in this game. Even if you're only counting the ones wandering out with boss health bars. Actually, yeah, if, if you count those as well, that number gets insane. If you're only counting indoor bosses, there's still a lot. Uh, I'd believe that number. I think I've seen, in just dabbling around in the first couple areas, at least... 10 to 15 bosses? Again, just counting things that have a boss health bar, not even necessarily things that are a real serious boss. There's been a few things that are kind of a joke as far as bosses go, but it does still have a boss health bar. Pretty much, yeah. I never did learn... And what the actual naming convention there was. Oh, I didn't notice that there was another one of these statues over here. And even in my co-op time, I've not beaten any of the actual shard bosses yet. I've purposely been keeping myself clear on those. Ah, uh, okay. I have killed a couple grand bosses, then. And they've dropped some interesting things that I have by no means had any hope of wielding on either of the characters I've been <laughs> enrolling. <laughs> okay, it's pointing into the ground, so it's probably down there. Which means I'm not going to worry about that right now. That's probably one of those things I'm going to have to do a very silly jump to get to. These wolves are very inattentive. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense because they're the big challenges. A lot of the, the grand bosses and such have not really been that bad. And, of course, the, the regular ones are not even a threat half the time so far. They're interesting designs, and I, I do not by any means mind that they're not a huge threat. It gets kind of tiresome when everything you run into is this huge threat that you have to plan for. Yeah, I, I could I could completely believe that and understand creating a whole new curse for that whole thing happening. I I've had a few incidents. Like let let's just say a certain interaction with a chest made me made me have a moment. Exactly. Just some are much more subtle about how they're trying to kill you. <laughs> oh, you're a tougher one. Uh, I won't say I found a mimic. There, There's a very different problem with the chest I found. But I'm not going to explain what that problem is for those who don't know what that problem is. It does something unique, but we'll probably be seeing it here today, because I'm going to go back over there. Because it does involve something I very much want. I 
I do appreciate just how much snappier magic is in this. You can just whip a spell quick. Uh, if those are the glowing rocks I think you're talking about, I've seen a few. I feel a little bad doing that, but at the same time, it was going to bite my face off if I didn't do that. Ah! Yeah, the, the amount of terrain destruction some of the big stuff can do is honestly fascinating. Both on a tech technical standpoint and just as a emergent gameplay -y thing. That's why I've yet to complain about any of the the performance issues I've run into with this. Because they had to have done a lot to make some of this stuff work well. And none of it's been, like, game-breaking. Okay. That I didn't even know about. And these wolves have a lot of health. Then again, I also do, like, no physical damage at all. <laughs> so I suppose that's... That's part of the problem. But I don't want to burn all my magic just on random wolves out in the field. These are a good opportunity to... Remember how this character is. I think they are, which is what throws me off that there was just a pack of pack leaders. <laughs> it's a little bit of an odd situation there. I've heard of too many chiefs, not enough Indians, and well, I think we got another one of those situations here. It may just be that I've reached a point where they are just the norm, and there may just be nastier ones even further north. Wait, I'm actually going to pop back and go deal with that situation I was talking about because there's something over there that this character is very much going to want. Now, whether I'm going to want to deal with that area is a whole other question, but we may as well do it. Uh, I think it's over there. I think that's the right ruins. Is there's two different ruins I found off stream that I very much am interested in getting into with this character. Yeah. I I both really like the day night cycle and I also keep running into worries that it won't actually do a lot. And yep, that happened. We're just not gonna worry about that right now. We're just... We'll come back to that thought. Yeah, he hasn't managed to land on me yet, but man, he's come close a couple times. <laughs> I'm just trying to find the stairs down in here. I'll be taking this, though. Ow. Curse you, rat. I really shouldn't be just running through here like this. This is a very bad idea on my part. Or save me. This horse is really just too good. Yeah, there's there's a few moments of that in this game. Absolutely. But let's be real, it wouldn't be a FromSoft game if there wasn't a dragon that's going to ruin your day somewhere along the way. Now, 
Now, those who do not wish to know about a mechanic may want to look away for a minute or two, and I'll let you know when it's done happening. One, two, three, I'm opening the box. Huh. Well, uh, that's egg on my face. Because, uh, something was supposed to happen when I opened that box. It didn't happen this time. Uh... Huh. Yeah, because you, you see right there, other people are talking about it, too. This is a trap chest, normally. Why didn't it happen? I've literally brought people to this before, and it happened to them, too, so I'm not crazy. But it didn't happen... I mean, yeah, Evo, I would believe that. It, it just knows that the stream button is on, therefore it's just like, nope, not gonna perform, nope. You also want to go there, nope, not gonna take you there. It fucking knows I want to go there. Now I gotta walk. Because I don't think it'll... I don't think the trap will reset now that the chest has been looted, either. I'm pretty sure that's just done now. Yeah, one, once you understand that they're tied to the day-night cycle, it definitely it makes things a lot more interesting. I've encountered... two so far that I can guarantee are day-night cycle attached. There's a third one I'm debating that on, because I haven't actually checked. But th this, this chest situation is kind of upsetting me right now, because not only did it give me a weapon I can't use, it's also a weapon I've been looking for on my other character and couldn't figure out where the first one of these would be, and it's denied me going to a place I wanted to go. God damn it. And I even gave a warning and everything and just no-sold the idea immediately. Just nope. Yup, no, I found him. He was one of the two I was talking about. And yeah, he he's brutal. He is, he is really brutal. Yeah, the dragon's still chilling over there. I should probably not be here. Uh, I don't know if he's that much faster, but his attacks definitely have a lot more coverage to them. At least that was the feel I got for it, but I also only tangled with him once or twice. I didn't really commit to fighting that. It became a much better idea to mark location and run like hell. I would absolutely believe he was faster, I just can't guarantee that due to low sample size. Oh, there's another bonfire I didn't find before. Beep. Yes, yes, I know, you're a bat. You want to be annoying. Hey, bat, how do you feel about magic? That's about how you feel, huh? Okay. Targeting? You know what? Fine. You go home. That's fine. Uh, da, da, da. Meanwhile, this brawl's still going on for all eternity. Uh, now I got a question. Do I want to go back down there, or do I... You know what? No. No, the game has spited me. I'm going to go spite the game back now. I should not be going where I'm about to go, but I'm going to goddamn walk there. I don't care. I have no idea what I'm going to get myself into walking there, and I'm just going to do it anyway. 
I'm gonna touch all these along the way, though. Though I gotta say, this horse has encouraged so much bad behavior on my part. <laughs> like, so much. Because I just run off to stupid places without a care in the world. Like, oh, there's a thousand enemies chasing me? Oh, that's fine. They'll never catch me. Even the mounted enemies have trouble keeping up with our horse, because our horse is just ridiculous. Torrent is just too fast. Uh, is this the ruins? I think it is. Yep. We're gonna want to come back to this in a minute. But I, I'm on a mission right now. I'm committed to this course and it's going to kill me. God damn it. In combat enough that I can't and check the map. I get why you can't open your map when you're in combat, but I would still like to be able to open my map. <laughs> so I'm not sure I'm going quite the direction I want to. I know I'm going the right general direction, but I'm not sure I'm in the right area. Uh, no, that's pretty close. Actually, that that's pretty that's pretty on target for where I'm trying to get to. I am, like, 90% sure I should not be going into where I'm going at the point I'm at. But goddammit, I'm going. The game wouldn't send me there, so I'm sending me. I should grab the map fragment, though, so I know where I'm going. Because going by memory is going to mean I'm going to be like five miles to the left of it and very confused. Oh, so there's nothing too crazy here so far. I mean, there's bears. Those sure are bears. Hello, bear. I'm stealing the thing underneath you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I... I missed my exit by a bit. That explains that. I don't know what's down here, though. I probably don't want to know right now. Okay. It's a good thing I veered off for the map fragment, because I was most definitely in the wrong zip code. Which is nothing new. It's almost like ending up somewhere without walking there is a lot harder to find your way back, back to and from. But can I just say that starting with fast travel available has been a godsend. Oh, this is a church I didn't find before, actually. I still need to go... Oh! I was just about to say I still need to go get the Flask of Wondrous Physic at all, and lo and behold, I tripped over the Flask of Wondrous Physic. It's based on the note you get for the, the Flask of Wondrous Physic. I completely misunderstood where it was. I thought it was to the north. 
Well, I don't have two things to put in there, but I'm assuming putting one thing in there will work for now. Yeah, it is currently a single object. Okay. Not what I meant to come out here. Oh, right. Duh. Upgrade the other flask, you ding ding. Do I have any other seeds? Nope. Okay. Okay. Everything is fine. Remember, everyone, this is why you don't play things like this after working all day and not sleeping very well. His brain starts going bleh. No, the, the whole time I was doing co-op, the last couple times I've done it, I kept going, I should go get the Flask of Wondrous Physic, because that's useful when you're a co-op player. And then I still neglected to do it. Neglected to do it. And now, trip. Found a flask. Now, those who know where I'm going probably understand immediately why I'm going here. All right, cool it, Sonic. I know you've gotten big again these days. That doesn't excuse you doing that to me. He's still real committed right now. Okay. I'm guessing the giant's still pissed. This is not quite where I want to be, but I'm going to need to look at my map and figure out where I am. Okay, I'm here. Uh, I wonder if that's a... That might be another sacred tier church over there, actually. Let's check that before I go anywhere else. Otherwise, I'm going to completely forget about that. Taking this, bye! Everything's a bit hot around here, though. Oh, yeah. Lives up to its name, I guess. Be taking these things. Automatic cookbook and missionary cookbook. Well, it's no sacred tier, but I think I actually like that better. So what can I make now? Poison pots, fetid pots. Ooh. I know where to find all of these things, and I'm going to want a lot of them. Poison darts. I mean... There's some neat things in there, but nothing I care that much about. What did each of these books actually teach me, though? Okay, that one was that stuff. Okay, that specifically just taught me the foot. Okay. The one I stole up at the other end was that. Okay. Uh. For those wondering, where I want to go is somewhere around here, if I'm remembering correctly. Though there's probably multiple entrances to where I'm trying to get to. I really should have reminded myself where that entrance was before trying to do this, though. At the very least, in terms of rushing there. Then again, I've not explored this area, so I could always just fuck around over here and it'll be fine. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like most places get too crazy until you actually go in the dungeons of those areas. With a couple notable exceptions, of course. Oh, you guys are over here, too, huh? Okay. Sneak, 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 sneak. Can I just kick you off? Nope. He didn't go that far. 
Oh, that's a new trick. Okay. Nope. Oh, held that too long. I do not like this. I do not like this at all. You are not like the Tree Men of the North at all. You, you're dressed the same, but you are very differently afflicted. Hmm. This very much does not look like the direction I want to go to get to where I want to be. On that note, while we're here, let's actually check this town out while I'm here. As much as that might be a regrettable decision. Considering things like, uh, you know, that. Hi. Don't mind me, Birdman. I'm just gonna touch this. You don't mind, right? I'm just gonna touch this because you're going to ruin my day when I do this well okay very earth that Caleb a son and Celia the town of sorcery okay keep those names in mind. So the issue over here is Scarlet Rot. Okay. And I guess that's why so much of it got burned, is trying to burn out that rot, probably. Oh, yeah. You look like you've been having better days, buddy. Okay, they've got the same moves as the, the shambling guys I found on that one beach. So far, anyway. Whether he does anything else is beyond me. Because he doesn't seem interested in doing it, whatever else he can do. So let's just put an end to that before he does anything crazy. Okay, those are presumably the cure for Scarlet Rot. Hi. Was that your wagon? Too bad. I broke it anyway. Yep, you can definitely tell I don't have the stats to be over here right now. And here I am anyway. Well, that's the joys of open worlds. You can go to places you have no business being. And again, I suppose in most Dark Souls games, you could go very many places you had absolutely no business being if you knew how to get there. These, these birdmen really are concerning. I should spend these before I lose them. Because I have enough to do stuff. I also need more intelligence to use what I'm going to go get anyway. Uh, I won't know unless I check. Can't reach you, huh? How about you? Can I hit you? Nope, you are you are far enough away. Well, that that solves that question. Yes, hello, Blob. You can stay there. Faded earthly flowers? Huh. I suppose they must be different in some way than the, the ones we use for the co-op item. Look and then listen carefully? What am I supposed to be listening for? Or is this just another one that's full of shit? Hmm. 
I'm hearing a whole lot of nothing, so I ain't gonna worry about it. That might be a thing, it might not. There are many times where I just forget I even have a horse for a little bit. Because I'm just not used to that. And I honestly don't mind just running around this world old yet. It hasn't worn out out its welcome. There's a cart there. Carts always have items. Well, generally have items. And I also hear the jingling noise of a scarab somewhere. Hmm. Well, I know one way to go about doing this. Dun, dun, da, da, dun. Dun, dun, da, da, dun. You see me? Nope. Nope. Taking this. Whatever this is, I'm taking it. Oh, God. Okay, fine. You can have it. It's yours. Oh yeah, the, those are the dogs people said you can't pet. Right, right, I remember those now. Everyone was getting very upset. Oh, that's where the stake is, huh? Well, I found the beetle. I also got put in a very dodgy place because of this, this stake here. Also, I see that there's a more than one place where there's a herd of zombies. Because I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like nine or ten zombies over there? That's a thing. I suppose I should actually fight these properly, huh? Rather than trying to dodge them. Because they are a bit too quick. Disagree. Huh. This is less ranged than I thought. There we go. Come here, you. Yeah, that's what I wanted to target. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so what do you do? Wow, that's a long drag. Okay. Yep, I knew you were up to something cheeky, you fucking ugly bastard. Okay, sure, the ugly comment was uncalled for. Understood understandable. I deserved that. <laughs> I guess the bastard comment might have been uncalled for too. I don't know who the status is between him and his father. Uh, so I might not be getting that item, whatever that is, just now. Because those seem a bit above my pay grade. I see gravestones full of profit. Hello, goops. These are mine now. You cannot stop me. You are only goop. I have a jump button. You cannot defeat me. There's a hole here, apparently. Or something. There's something round marked on the map here. No, something incredible a bit. I disbelieve. Jumping required ahead. Well, that much is true. I mean, it's not bad. 
when you look at it like that, it looks a lot better. It's got a lot of that nice spooky red sky, the castle all in the background, at least some of the tree. And then there's these jerks. These look like they're actually more my speed. But they're wearing different stuff, so they're probably tougher. Not that much tougher, though. Uh, that's exactly why I switched to the spell that can hit through them, because I knew they were going to reach for fucking magic of their own. Oh, they've got fire pots, huh? Okay. Ow. Go ahead, throw another one. Hey, I said throw, not stab. Gotcha. I do appreciate getting my flasks back from crowds. God ahead. If only I had, I had Dreg's old codger head. Huh. Okay. I see a man about to fly off a cliff. Oh. Just have to ruin my fun, don't you? If I kick you off the cliff, your friend's gonna send me off with you. Well, fuck it. Doing it anyway. to show. Sometimes I do actually know how to fight. Only sometimes, though. Oh, yeah, he ain't coming back from that fall. He ain't coming back from that at all. Uh, let's make the question. How am I getting down there? And it's really looking like I might just, uh, you know, not. So I can drop... No, that seems like too much without soft cotton, and I don't think I have soft cotton right now. I don't know. I can make some soft cotton. This still might be too far. But I'm game to try. <sighs> this is ill-advised! That worked. Yeah, as expected, there's nothing there. Nice, a somber smithing stone too. Something I'm not gonna need for the next century. I dislike the sounds I'm hearing. I don't know if anybody can hear them, as I don't know if I've got my volumes right, but uh, I hear a really bad thing down here. Didn't expect Sorcerer. Okay. Yeah, that that certainly looks like a caster of some kind laying there. You real? Huh? Nope, you're actually... Oh, no, that's the guy I kicked off the ledge. Of course he's dead. He probably landed on his neck. So, considering the amount of these I'm sitting on, I should use those to become stronger. That's probably a good idea. I say as I just keep putting points in intelligence. Because I'm just somehow going to beat them to death with my massive brain. Sounds like there's a lot of mining going on down here. Okay, it's these guys again. I encountered these miners elsewhere. Oh yeah! Uh, good job, Brain. Yep, you're totally gonna 
backstab him with your fucking magic. Good job, dum dum. So, for those who don't know, these miners kind of like have like stone skin of some kind, so attempting to deal with them with physical attacks was largely not ending well. I think bludgeoning might work, I don't know. I didn't have one to try when I was dealing with these before. But as with most things, magic works. And particularly watch out for these guys with the bags on their backs because they can throw bombs. Though those pickaxes hurt a lot. Because, you know, it's a pickaxe the size of us. Yeah, places like this are littered with smithing stones of various kinds and things of that nature. So I highly recommend you poke your nose into these tunnels when you get a chance to. When you can find them. This one's apparently way above my pay grade. Oh, hey, I got a pickaxe. I'm betting I can't use that. Yup, sure can't. 22 strength. Oh, boy. Just to demonstrate how much they don't care ow that was a bad demonstration that was a demonstration of me getting hit in the face oh well that's not great hello sir good day <laughs> as you see i could fight you fair on your terms or I could do the, the standard caster technique of not fighting fair. And that's exactly why you don't fight fair. Because they don't either. <laughs> I misjudged the pace that that miner was going to get up there at. I'm going to want those souls, because that's a lot of souls. Runes, whatever the hell. Yeah, that that still demonstrated just how little damage a physical attack does to these guys. Hey, Shifu. Thank you for dropping by. This guy is very stuck now. Huh. I didn't know their attacks didn't break things. Huh. He's just in purgatory now. He He's just stuck now. Huh. <laughs> she's gonna go take these things now. Oh, he figured that box out. Oh, nope, nope. He's, he's figuring it out. He's adapting. Just lift your legs higher, man. Just lift your legs slightly higher. Just do this. See this? This is a thing you can do. Just do this. <laughs> Here, I'm just gonna end your suffering, friend. Let's, let's just stop this. There we go. Uh, 2020 AI, everybody. Nope. Nope, 
Fight me in the tunnel where I have the advantage. Remember everyone, fighting fair is for suckers. It's the words I've always lived by and it's the words I'll always live by. Even if I will be a sucker from time to time too. Now that... Oh wait, no, that's one of the little octopus things. I was about to say that, I have no answer for what the hell it is. But no, I do actually have an answer. Dead. That's what it is. Try attacking, then seek head. Be wary of left, try blood loss. And octopus ahead, be therefore be wary of rushing in. Oh yeah. We're just gonna go the other way. What I find constantly surprising is that that wide arc spell is a starting spell. You would really think that'd be the kind of thing you'd have to find. But no, astrologers just start with that. Yeah, notice how even a backstab of a physical weapon just does like next to nothing to these guys. It just gets you set on fire. Which, a part of me wants to test whether a torch would actually do any real damage to them. But considering their weapons are fire and they're kind of on fire, I doubt it'll work. I also don't have one on hand, so never mind, that's not gonna be a question. Also, I'm a fool, I know the answer to that question already, because I was a prophet when I went in into a mine like this before, and I was throwing fireballs at these guys. So yes, I know fire works. There's very little that fire doesn't work on. We are making a hefty profit in here. I'm going to be over-leveled for where I'm going back to in no time, which is fine. I'm, I'm bad enough that this is probably a necessary assistance. Mm. I'm tempted to keep upping my arcane because I think I do need that as a side stat for a few things. Uh, more intelligence. My brain will eclipse the sun. Uh, brain. Now, if only my real brain worked half as well. Hmm. Unfortunately, I did bring all these guys back. So there's a whole new chance for me to screw this up. Now, is he going to get stuck again? Or is he going to figure it out? Are you going to free him? No, you're not going to help him out? Okay. There you go. It, it just happens again. Huh. Well, we had our fun with that the first time. We don't need to do that again. Hey, you'll notice that I'm doing a lot more damage with my magic as I keep gaining more intelligence. So, it's going to help a lot. Oh, I fucked it up.
And thankfully I can fill in the gaps for smithing stones by the fact that these guys drop singles. So that works out. They really should not have given me the power to just chain throw spells like this. I guess I'm just gonna have a collection of pickaxes by the time I'm done down here. Missed it. Yep, that's what I was afraid was gonna happen. I wasn't quite gonna do enough damage. That's why I was just throwing spells at them. Oh, the curse of having physical stats that basically don't exist. Yeah, that won't help at all. At least it probably won't. I don't really have anything I can throw at them conveniently. Oh well. Wash, rinse, repeat until I'm so powerful that this all works out. And for those keeping track, no, this is not where I was trying to get to. This is a worthwhile enough sidetrack that this is probably going to be interesting. I really should be fully exhausting my magic before recharging it, but I also don't want to have to try to drink it mid-fight. I had to expedite that. He saw me. Yep, that's where I wanted to point the camera. Don't use the arc on the ramp, because it ain't gonna work. Yeah, you know, I didn't want to keep casting that spell. Nope. Not at all. Okay. Now, what I really should be doing is just avoiding these miners at this rate, I think. They really seem to be just a waste of my energy. So if I could just not piss them off, that'd probably be the way to go. Can't avoid it with this group over here, though. Uh-oh. Apparently, I also attracted the octopus, which is awkward. Uh-oh. Yeah, I thought I saw his light coming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Many different flavors of uh-oh! Oh, that's just upsetting. Kindly stop that. I didn't know they could do that. I don't I never let the bomb holders live long enough. Thankfully this guy doesn't understand stairs. That's why he's down here in the mine. They just put him down here and then he never could figure out how to get back out. Oh, you cheeky bastard. For what it's worth, yes, I knew that was coming. But I was also annoyed enough that I didn't care. Because, of course, the one guy I don't immediately hit. And he just pulls out the fucking war tube and just goes... Bruh. Wakes up every damn thing in the damn basement.
need to mess with those two. Hell, if I'm smart, I don't even need to mess with that guy. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Now, one miner spotted me. Nope. Hi. Eh, eh. Well, we seem to be at an impasse, sir. Could you kindly let me down the ladder? Thank you. Taking this. Bye. Now all of China knows I'm here. But they don't seem interested in following me. That gives me strong concerns about where I've ended up. Oh, nope, they figured it out. They got over it, whatever the problem was. Uh, I don't know what that is either. Touching this. Huh. Thank you, iframes. Oi. Knock it off with that. That's my trick. Only I may do that. Oh, damn it. It is at this moment that I realize I didn't grab the runes I left on the ground. And there's a couple thousand over there. And do I want it that badly? No, not really. Considering I made that much just wandering through here, I'm not that worried about it. Oh, we came out the other end. Wherever the other end is. Oh. Huh. That's over here. Well. I know where this is. Hmm. Oh, back in the hole. I guess we'll mess with Jar Turtle. Hello? Oh. Maybe this was supposed to be a dead end, I'm sure of it. What's going on here? A door from thin air. Well, stranger things happen at sea, or so I'm told. But onward I shall go. I am the warrior Jar. I'm this Alexander. I was heading to Redmain Castle, on the southern edge of the scarlet, rot-blighted Caelid Wilds, where a festival is being held, until I was stopped by that dead end. <laughs> I have a very good question, Mr. Iron Fist Alexander. How the hell did you get in here? I, I understand being vexed by that door because you're bigger than the door. But how'd you get past this one? I mean, I guess technically, yes. I call shenanigans either way. I don't like the sounds I'm hearing on the other side of this door. Which is exactly why I'm gonna open it. Hello? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 cousin. Chill. Chill, cousin. Oh, that this is this is still fire. Huh. Okay. Fair enough. Understood. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh I found a thing. Not sure what to do with it, but I found a thing. That's the wrong way. I'm gonna- I'm gonna go poke it one more time. 
but I don't think we're getting anywhere with that idea right now. I don't have enough ways to stop fire damage to deal with this problem. As he covers way too much ground with fiery death. And he really just did not care about that spell. Okay, yeah, no. No. No, 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 no. That's above my pay grade right now. As expected from being somewhere we very much should not have been anyway. Oh, yeah, when he's done with it, it sure is. And my skin, and the walls, and everywhere else. Now, the thing is, this puts us back out in Limgrave. We entered the tunnel over here, so it's not that far. But we could also go back through the, the tunnel and come back out the top. That would involve clattering my way through a lot of problems again, though. So I'm just going to go around. Especially since there's just a, a convenient horse launcher over here. Do be careful with those, by the way. They can send you to death. So I found one that defaults to literally just chucking you into the ocean if you don't adjust the flight path. So it's a th it's a bit of a problem. Here we are, back at that cart that I so desperately want to rob. Uh, actually, I think I know how to pull that off now that I think about it. Nothing sees me yet. Ha! Ah, since I opened the box before, it counted it as being open. Not something I want or care about, but I have it now, I guess. Successful heist. Ding, 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 ding. Uh oh. And away! <laughs> oh god! Nope, 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 nope. This is a cliff. Something that can fly, it doesn't pursue that well. Uh oh. I had- I just had to open my big mouth about that, didn't I? Oh yeah, he really did not care about that, huh? Okay. Four side frames, haha, <laughs> bye. I really thought I outranged him, but apparently not so much. Yep, this seems like great terrain to be running on. Nope, N nothing to be concerned about here. Nope. Oh, that's bad. That's a bad place to land. That's a bad place to land. 
no, 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 Well, you know, that's probably for the best. <laughs> More than likely, the same thing was going to happen anyway. Uh, let's see. I'm just taking a quick tally of what I found. 31 strength for the great sword, which is not even a great sword, it's a colossal sword. <laughs> it's also one of a handful of scaling sea weapons I've seen so far. I'll need to let my friend know about where that is because he's all about the great swords. Kind of like that one. That one right there, yeah, that one. Hmm. I'm going to regret my life choices doing this. But rather than trekking back through the upper area, I'm going to see if I can grab the things that are laying around in here. That I missed as I was sprinting through. Ow, maybe not. What you got down here, guys, huh? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ah, the burning, the burning. Okay, I think that was the only other thing I missed aside from what was in the squid room. Also, that's just a tally of how many guys are in there right there. So we're not gonna do that again. Oh, fun fact, as I was coming out of a very similar tunnel to that, I tried to mount up right as it gave me the ability to mount up. My horse appeared, then disappeared, and I died. Just floating in the air. As if an invisible hand had just picked me up and just crushed me. It was a very interesting situation. Yeah, I guess we're just riding back in, because, uh, running back through there ain't happening. Not without actually going through and killing all of them. And that just seems like it will take entirely too long. Things I do for map markers, upsetting the local populace. Taking this. Ooh, there's a. There's one of those stone seal key doors there. Yep. Okay. Those are something you cannot outrun on the horse efficiently. I could certainly have dodged it if I knew it was coming, but I didn't know when it was going for me. Also didn't realize I was being chased by two of them. But, that did move us down here, which is further into where I wanted to be anyway. That tower could be interesting. Hmm... Actually, I probably want to go to that bird's eye telescope because that'll probably find me what I'm looking for. Because I just somehow couldn't activate a trap correctly. Also, the next time I say an area is not going to be too bad, 
Remind me not to say that. I mean, yeah, being told not to say will also just encourage me to say it, which may or may not have been an intended part of this plan to begin with. Also, wow, that hurt. I don't know what that was, but I don't like it. Uh-huh. Well played. Yeah, he he's a hell of a shot. I was not prepared for that. Also, good to see that emote oh, getting use. Gonna get plenty of use in here right now, at the rate this is going. Because I'm being greedy and trying to get to a place I have no business being... Just because a trap wouldn't goddamn send me there like it was supposed to. Yeah, funny thing, that emote sat in approval pending for like three days for some reason. Okay, if I die a couple more times trying to get there, uh, I genuinely don't remember, but it might have been. And that might be the answer. That It might just be because it was the weekend. I, that is something I had not considered. Hmm. If I die a couple more times trying to get there, I'm going to give up on that idea and actually go places I know I won't just die trying to get around. And we'll actually see some regular gameplay instead of me riding around the, like a crazy person on the horse. There's also a couple of small dungeons that I missed when I was coming through the first time that I really should go clean up. But at the same time, I suppose this is probably different content than what people have seen to a degree. Though I would not be shocked if a lot of people streaming this have just been riding around on the horse because it's the one of the newest, most unique mechanics of the game. Oh, I pissed off a bird again. Serpentine, serpentine. This does mean I can't check the map now, which is a bit of a problem. Fuck it, I'm trying something. Whoop. Whoop. Tree. Ha ha. Nope. Nope. Hi, big guy. of War Lifesteal Fist. Okay, that's a thing. Usable on fists and claws. Grants affinity and skills to the armament. Occult Old Lifesteal Fist. Okay. 
Something I'm gonna want to come get on my other character, because he's currently working on a claw weapon. And I have found the Nomadic Merchant again. Man, you've cho chosen an interesting place for business, my friend. I can imagine you're hungry out here. Okay, you've got poison poop rocks. Butterflies, fire arrows, poison darts, bolts. Nothing I really want. This is out and out the least interesting nomadic trader I've encountered. Ooh, I think I'm close to where I'm trying to get to, actually. This looks familiar. So, I... am realizing there may be a problem. With where I'm trying to get to. Because, uh, that doesn't look particularly crossable. That looks like it's gonna give me Scarlet Rod if I step in it. That's a thing, too. Hmm. I may want to track a bit that way and go to the road and see if the road's any better. I'm honestly not sure if the, the place I'm thinking about is on this section of the weird, awful red zone, or if it's down there. And somebody might be able to answer me if I, I stopped being so cagey about where I'm trying to go, but at the same time, that ruins the fun. Um, hi. You didn't see me. I was never here. No, you saw nothing. No, I'm not real. You're just losing your mind, I'm Mr. Dragon. Everything's fine. Cathedral of Dragon Communion. I've seen one of these before. Touching this before the dragon kills, mate. Go away, scary dragon. There we go. That is what I aspire to be one day, but man, he's, uh, he's beyond my pay grade. Okay, this one teaches dragon fly fire, glintstone breath, rotten breath, dragon ice, dragon claw, and dragon maw. Okay. Still need dragon hearts, which I probably get from guys like him. So there, there's a little, little thing for those of you who have good faith in Arcane. Go kill some dragons, you'll get some nice dragon powers. You know, it's, it's that easy. Just go kill some dragons. <laughs> I mean, that could work. Probably need to find the right people to talk to for that idea. Yep, that bird is aware of me. Okay. Time for some evasive horse riding again.
God damn it, I got distracted by the sound of a giant being nearby. That gate is probably not somewhere I want to go, but it's probably better than being chased by this bird right now. I hear magic flying in my direction. The loot scoop never stops. Uh, this is not where I'm intending to go, but you know what? This might be better. This might be better if I can get in here alive. Because that name sounds like something I'm interested in. Uh-oh. Does mean they've got sorcery too, though. Which might be a problem. <laughs> Sorry, Torrent. Okay. Okay, that's a regular sized dog. That's fine. Oh! That's... That's not a player ghost. That's a real ghost. Huh. That might be a problem. Because, uh, I might not be able to hurt those. Depends on whether they actually get hurt by magic or not. Also, I'm not sure where it put me. Okay, it put me outside of the town. That's probably for the best. Let's get in there a much more subtle way, and we might actually survive. I say as I immediately break a pile of branches. Oh, boy. Yeah, those are hostile. Okay. Magic? Okay, magic hurts them. Good. Okay. We have we have claimed our first victory in here. Try gesturing. Huh. They might be pulling my leg, but there might be something to that. But I don't know what gesture to even try with that, so I'm not going to right now. Because I'm betting it's a special gesture you gotta find somewhere, rather than just, like, point or anything. I hear it, but I don't see it. When in doubt, use the fact that they've given us the power to jump to go unconventional ways. If you can't beat them, don't be seen by them. <laughs> Stop by the shack beyond the southern gate. Why is that different? Huh. Interesting. Ah, I touched base, you can't get me. Nah, 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 nah. I said base, you can't tag me. I guess maybe that's what I was hearing. I thought it was one of the beetles. Uh-oh. I don't know how you noticed me. Or where you even were. But just perish, you little scythe gremlin. Wait a minute. It's wearing the same armor as those crazy spinning guys. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. I might understand something. I 
think these might be puppets. Because if you look, they've got weird joints. There's a gear in the middle. I think these are puppets. Uh oh. I stole his granddad's ashes. Run away. Nope, you can't get me. I said base. I'm gonna assume this swamp is bad for me. Yep. That's ah, Scarlet Rot. Okay. Right then. Shall we have a wizard's duel? Ow, you're better at this than I am. But I cast faster. Oh, they summon... Oh. Never mind, he's just... Only sometimes here, I guess. Hmm. That's concerning. There's this again. No, oh shit, I don't have the right. I don't have the right to do a lot of the things I do around here. And yet here I am anyway. Because who's gonna stop me? That guy, and that guy, and the other guy, and that one with the big sword, and the bird. Oh god. Oh, am I having that problem now? Great. Great. Invisible enemy time, huh? Okay. Love it. Hmm. That complicates matters. Don't suppose you guys have a limited amount of FP, huh? Now, the thing is, I've never experienced the invisible enemy issue till now. So, I don't know if there's these guys are supposed to be invisible, or if they just are invisible. Because you'll notice, usually when people have the invisible enemy issue... Oh, wait. Oh, you might have to be close to them to see them. Because people who have the invisible enemy issue also can target the thing that's hidden. These guys, I think, might just be protected unless you're close to them. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, good, sir. Oh, I... Ay ay ay. I couldn't switch the I couldn't switch the the flasks fast enough. But uh oh boy. We got men with magic great swords in here. Which I knew that spell existed and that's a spell we can get. But man, I was not prepared for them to have it. He just phases in and out of existence at range. See, and the thing is, since they're ghosts, that might actually be intended. I don't know. But what puts the lie to that being intended is the fact that there's that guy over there. Huh. Okay. That might just be a spell they have, where they can just fucking poof. Ow. Can anyone who's ever been here confirm whether these are supposed to be phasing in and out of reality? Uh oh, I found another one by accident. Okay, they take physical damage as if they were normal. The 
The thing is, player ghosts existing in here is gonna fuck with my head really bad. Because I'm just gonna see random ghosts popping in and out, and I'm never gonna be sure if it's a player or an enemy. Unless I actually see the body. Oh boy. This is definitely a ghost town. And I kinda hate it here. That said, I have an idea of how to fight back. I have an idea. Fight ghosts with ghosts. Dog friends, find me my enemies and chew on them. Now that I know they can be attacked physically, I can also just stab the the pleb ones to death. I can save magic in the future for the the scarier ones. You're a little late, dog. Yeah, go get them. That's right, go get them, boys. Mostly just meant to be another target for them to shoot at, so I can get in. Ow, 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 ow. Collateral damage? This is actually my first time using the Summon Ashes, though. I usually don't do it, because I don't need it. This place, though, I, I think some guard dogs might be a good idea. Because these things are mean. Oh, Jesus. Yep, nope, that... That is a puppet, just like those guys I found out in that northern field, because they freak out periodically. So what I think it is, is the, the gearbox in them spins up, and then they just chuck themselves at a problem. Thankfully, these mages don't understand the concept of cover. Of course, I forgot projectile speed was a concept there, so I suppose it's fair play. Dinner, boys. Go get them. Nope, none of that this time. No, 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 no. Part of none of that, didn't you grasp? I, I don't think that's the invisible enemy glitch. I think these things are just a problem. <laughs> How, why, when, where... You.
Yeah, the having the dogs around definitely levels the playing field. They're not doing great because they're not upgraded at all and a little under or they're you know, they're this is above their pay grade. Yep, that we're we sure are here, yes. This would be a good place to have magic weapon, but I don't- I unfortunately don't have the magic weapon spell. I do know where to find it. I just didn't go there right now. Which, if this continues to be crazy, I may very well turn back and go there in order to get a few more tricks up my sleeve. God damn it. Uh, I thought I had the angle to backstab him, but I guess maybe you can't backstab a ghost. That would make sense. Let's come in from the other angle. Hmm. Like, I know there's a guy right there. And these guys aren't bad to magic duel as long as you shoot first. That's the key to fighting them with magic, is you gotta shoot first. The thing is, whether you can see them or not, they're still solid. It's worth bearing in mind, too. I might be able to just scoop my loot. I don't know if I even need to go up there. So, given the fact that it's guarded by that many guys, I would assume something important is up there. Ah, and that... Right there's the problem with them being invisible, though. You don't know when they're gonna fucking hit ya. And it's impossible to fucking keep a target lock on them. Making it difficult to fight them with magic. Thankfully, they're not the best fighters. Even the ones that are meant to be fighting. Uh, stairs remain my most powerful enemy, though. Thankfully, the stairs are no better for them. <sighs> I really thought I was going to have enough time to cast that. And I'm an idiot. I just realized what I should be doing this entire time. I'm a fool. I'm not thinking but I just realized what I should have been doing. And it'll make sense what I'm thinking in about five seconds when I finish respawning and start doing the better way of doing this. I don't know where they are, so hit everything. <laughs> Honestly, when I can see them, I really should be using the pebbles still, because it casts a lot faster. But for those melee guys that are real hidey boys, I probably want to use the wide arc, because they can't avoid it. I can just hit the hallway they're in, and it'll hit them. I know there's a melee guy somewhere in that general direction, so we'll, we'll throw the big, big wave spell in his general direction. <laughs> Problem is, it's not going to work on the stairs. I 
As you see, it just hits the stairwell itself. I do appreciate that they at least become visible right before they strike. So you do know they're coming. It just sometimes is a bit of a pain. Because now I got fucking Clockwork Gremlin over here to deal with too. hate this mechanic, though. If it is a mechanic, if it isn't, I still hate it. Considering they also have a fucking block move. Got him. Jesus. That wasted basically all of my resources just to fight one goddamn guy. Ugh. All because I can't target him. Don't get me wrong, I'm usually pretty cognizant of where he was. But it's a bit of a wrestle with the controls to keep the attacks going where I actually want them to go. Oh, and now there's two of them. Hooray. I'm so happy. And the thing is, as you can see here, fighting them is not much different than fighting actual regular sword guys. Once you understand how their pattern is. And you actually have them somewhere you can keep track of them. Problem is, they don't stagger worth shit against what I've got, because I am not meant to be here. I kind of wish they'd drop one of those swords, though, because that'll probably be exactly what I need. Okay, option number two. Two hand the magic stick. That really doesn't seem like it's actually doing anything for me. The biggest issue about them being invisible, though, is it's very hard for me to fight them on my terms, which is how I usually win most of my fights, is by fighting on my terms. They start the fight every time, because I can't remember exactly where they are, and I can't see them. That gives them two different advantages. Blocking was a mistake. Now, the thing is, I could just bail out with a lot more souls than I started this with. That would be the smart course. But the... The greedy part of my brain that's like, there's all kinds of stuff in there. 
is really compelling. <laughs> that said, I also know for a fact that I have deviated massively from where I wanted to be. I'm pretty sure, at least. So I'm like 80% sure where I wanted to be is somewhere in this region right here. So I, I'm going to I'm going to accept the reality of the situation and I'm gonna get us out of here before I spend the entire stream just getting bodied in places I don't belong. Now, I'm not 100% sure where I'm about to take us is that much better? But it should at least be a little more reasonable for me to actually kill the things in it. But this is another place I'd been told exists, and I've seen it on my map, of course, but I've never actually been there. So this will be interesting. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna mention in, at least somewhat where I was trying to get to. I was trying to get into the mines underneath this area over here. Is there's a specific sorcery I encountered underneath there that I wanted. Sadly, that's not really gonna be that possible right now. Because the trap didn't send me there like it was supposed to. I'm still a little bit salty about that. But I guess... You know what? I guess that means that the those traps are also on a day-night cycle. Which means I should check out the other trap I've encountered. At some point, at least. And see if that also doesn't send me anywhere. depending on when I touch it. Because I'm pretty sure I touched the the second one I encountered during the daytime and it teleported me. So. I don't know if that means that there's a difference or if something weird happened. I don't know. Oh. Looks like they're trying to break into this place. Which means, of course, we absolutely just sneak off the other side and see if we can break in a better way. And that is not the way. Which means, cowabunga it is. I'll show you guys how are you really meant to break into a castle. Charge! What's the matter, your ballista uh, can't track me fast enough? Oh, how sad for you. Seeing if there's a different back door I can get in on. Uh, the answer is yes, but no. Yes, there's a back door, but no, it ain't a, an easy freeway in. There's a whole mess going on over here, too. Oh, hi! That's a problem. How you doing, pumpkin man? Ow! Not great, huh? Me either. Not after what you just did. Yes, yeah, so let's target the penguin. That's what I need to be worried about.
Jesus. Really wish I could retarget that, but I can't. He only targets one spot. And he moves too much for me to have a prayer of getting the the game's regular targeting capabilities to play ball with me well enough. I'm just gonna have to eventually dink him to death. That was a good hit. There we go. Gimme. Okay. Problem solved. Because those regular guys, not a big problem. Him, real big problem. I'm guessing he was like up there or something, considering he just completely blindsided me. Welcome back. You, you've, you've missed bits and pieces of a real wild trip. We're back in slightly more sane territory now. Fancy shield is nothing against magic. That's been proven. I gave that shield away to somebody and magic's been ruining them whenever they try to use it. Be wary of Archer, by the way, didn't expect rat. Fortnite. God damn it. Ah. Uh, that appears to be dead. But the fact that there's a corpse that big is concerning. Fort Hay. Huh. You're really... You're really aware. Well done, you. There's the, the, the rat that was mentioned. I'm just gonna get rid of that before it surprises me. And my friendly neighborhood fireball, man. And my not so friendly other fireball man. Oh, there's another rat too, huh? Okay. Well, it's been a while since we had a frame drop. Just had one there. Thankfully, the stream is yet to drop frames, just the game. That tells me either the issue is actually somewhere in Limgrave, specifically. Like, there's some specific models and such in this general area that's real bad, or I just happen to be lucky. Oh, God. Speaking of lucky, fi fire pot to the face, not so lucky. Now, if that rat was smart, it would have stayed in between these. I was having a real devil of a time hitting him. Thankfully, he's a rat. Only vaguely smart. Now, you, sir, need a lesson in pain. And we have another volunteer for that lesson. Oh. Uh, fun fact. Apparently, I'm the volunteer. Yeep. I Tired of me doing that yet? Yeah, apparently he is. <laughs> Get back here. Me. Oop, can I have to try again? 
fooled you. Ooh. Bloody Slash. That sounds like something I want. Ah. There's the jerk that was on the ballista. Hey. Wakey. Wakey. He's got a knife. Uh, I can probably put Bloody Slash on the short sword. But I can't do it from here. I'd have to go... Go to a gr well, no, I can't even do it from a grace yet because I don't have the thing for that. I would need to go back to the hold. Do that later, then. That would be enough to get me to go back to using the short sword instead of the spear, though. Having an actual art of war I can use would be a phenomenal increase for me. But before... I think the only one I really had was Wild sli wild Strikes, which doesn't work on a short sword. So that's assuming Bloody Slash even works for me. I don't know. That's a ladder. I don't know if I trust this ladder, but it's a ladder. Still nervous about ghosts now, after our incident in the other town. Think I'm gonna get stabbed in the back by a ghost at any time. Is this a bad chest? Nope. Ah. Deck this medallion left. Okay. I might know something about that. But I don't know enough to not keep that under my hat right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention that I might know a thing, and that's gonna be where that stays for now. Till I encounter the thing I'm, I'm thinking about, or I find better information. Smithing stone one. Ah. Uh. I mean, I got a real bad idea there, but I'm not doing that. I was going to try to walk the lip of that ledge there, but I'm pretty sure the game's not going to have anything to do with that plan. Uh, I'm not sure how else to get there. I'm assuming there's a ladder inside the wall somewhere. Because this doesn't get us there. While the silly thing I'm thinking about doing is probably possible, it's probably not a good idea. And this right here is why a jump button shouldn't have been given to me. Because <laughs> I, it gives me bad ideas. And there's also not a door there anyway, so it wasn't actually going to get me anywhere. Okay, Nomadic Warrior Cookbook. Which one are you? I think it was number six. Blood grease, drawstring blood grease, blood bone arrow, blood bone flesh. No, that might not be it, because I thought I had that already. Oh yeah, that's the one I found in the, the dragon communion place. Dragon wound grease. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no, that must be from this place because we were finding all these blood roses in here so that i assume does bleed yeah blood loss build up okay okay hmm. either this place is smaller than it looks or or i'm missing something We haven't been able to get in there. Now, I don't know if there's any reason to get in there, but it's bugging me that I can't. Uh huh. Son of a bitch! Huh. You can fall a lot further than I thought. 
I get the feeling we're gonna have a few of, um, of those moments, though. So bear with me as I struggle with the, the physics engine a bit here. Because now that I've seen that that's possible, now, now I can't resist it. This might be a trap. God damn it. Okay. Good. No, try horse is a trap for sure. Okay. Well, son of a bitch. Did this really lead nowhere? No, you're right. That's definitely not a likely answer. This was for nothing. This was all just for nothing. Ah, res 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 video games. Well... I would try horse if I was allowed to, but what do you know? I can't use my horse here. But there is something I can use. Except I don't have any more butterflies. And I'm out of those. Okay, that ain't the answer either then. So I was gonna just chuck myself over the side and use soft cotton to survive. But I guess we'll go back the slightly more sensible way. Or, you know, miss the jump and find out that I can fall from that wall and be fine anyway. Okay. Today we learned. It's a lot less fall damage than I thought. I am still operating under normal souls rules of you fall that far and you're losing like half your health bar. Okay, so that was a much shorter detour than I thought it was going to be. Uh, hmm. I'm curious. This is gonna this is gonna keep bugging me now about that trap that didn't trap. <laughs> so I think it was turning nighttime when I ended up over there. So let's see what happens in the daytime, because I could have swore that's when I got trapped was during the day. Of course, it may not even activate anymore. Or maybe it's because I activated the dragon this time. I don't know. Uh, there's so many reasons why this isn't doing what I expect it to do. Uh, I also now apparently... There we go. I was about to say, now I apparently can't dismount? Which is weird. Nope. Apparently, that is just dead now. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. And confusing. I know it's not tied to clearing the guys in the camp here out. Because I cleared them out once, the trap worked. I cleared, I didn't clear them out the second time I was here, and the trap still worked. So it's not attached to that in the slightest. Hmm. Well, I know about another thing. I'm not gonna like dealing with this other thing, but we can try. I've had better and worse ideas. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Pardon me, Mr. Big. I'm just passing through. I'll 
just be taking this. Now, this place. Now, there's one definite problem when I approach this place. Which is why I'm going to check a thing or two before I commit to doing this. Like, what do these do? Stamina, boost strength, enhanced charge attacks temporarily. Okay, none of these will really help me with this coming situation. Okay. Dum de dum de dum de dum. Everything is fine. Just gonna go see what's in this big arena. Nothing bad's gonna happen to me. Da da, nothing bad. Da da, nothing bad's gonna happen to me. There he is. There he is again. Wrong weapon. He dodges pretty good. This is a scripted invasion. I have encountered two of these in this game. Both of them have been really mean. I'm definitely cheesing this. That's because if I fought him normally, I would lose. And I accept this. Besides, that's the life of a caster. You kind of have to cheese your way to victory against certain opponents. <laughs> yeah, that teaches you how to summon other players. And it... Ooh, I got a hammer talisman from him. What's that do? Enhances stamina reducing attacks against blockers. It's an anti-shield talisman. Okay, I'm into that. Shields are annoying. Won't really help me with my current setup, but it's cool. And that also gave me a free one of the... The fine summon sign items. But the most important part is it gave me access to whatever the hell this place is. Oh, small red effigy and a duelist finger. I guess maybe this is an arena for competitive play, actually, then. This might actually not be interesting at all. Is boy oh boy, am I not a competitive build at all? <laughs> is there just not even a door? Is this place just a lie? Is this just a big circle of disappointment? It's really looking like a big circle of disappointment. And people trying dumb moves and falling off cliffs. Hmm. A lot of the side tracks I've been thinking about have been ending up being just Bubkiss. Which is a bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he did mention a door where he was sitting, so I guess maybe that big stone thing is actually a door. And it probably won't open for us. Oh yeah, no, the, the parry system is incredibly forgiving 
But the timing... The timing's a bit of a thing... ...against some of it. Yeah, this door's not a door. Yeah, no, r running around like a moron not progressing is pretty accurate to what's been happening for me right now, too. I've just been running all over creation, getting myself in all kinds of trouble. But I, I was already surprised enough by what my friend was able to block, let alone what can be parried. <laughs> you too, eh? Okay. Because I grew up with Kingsfield. I never got good at... at the... the timing for parries, because I always was just all about rolling, but... Fair play to you if you've managed to get a handle on it. Let's see, since that place turned out to be a bust, too, where do I even want to go? I, I'm I'm just fully on the idea of no, not even dealing with story bosses right now. At the rate I'm going, I'm just not going to. Was that a screenshot with or without getting hit mid-roll? <laughs> you knew I had to. It's tradition. Huh. Well, we've walked into the middle of something. I mean, I'm getting paid just by sitting here. I'm just gonna let this follow through. Though that's hardly fair. They just keep summoning more. Just carry on, boys. You got this. You're doing great. You know how I just said hardly fair? That's even less fair. Oh, yeah. No, fighting, fighting the dancer early is is an experience. I did it once, I'm never doing it again. <laughs> you ever get the feeling you just walked into somewhere you really shouldn't be to? I, I just seem to be on a roll for going to places I really have no business being. I keep seeing this guy in random places, all seeming to lead here. Yeah, no, that that's from playing too many FromSoft games, yes. Well, too many, eh, I don't know if too many exists, but... It's definitely something you've brought on yourself to a degree. <laughs>
I guess all of gaming has taught us big room means you're going to die. So we'll spend these before they end up in a hole somewhere. Speaking of hole... Not even chance in that one. Nope, this is not a bridge at all. Once upon a time it was a bridge, now it's just a mess. Yeah, no, that tracks. I will say, this this really feels more generous than most, but I think that's just because of how many options you have. So you have ways to actually get stronger to deal with the problem. Rather than just having to do a much duller grind if you can't manage to handle a fight. You can just kind of leave and go somewhere else. No. No cartwheeling frogmen. No. The first time I saw those guys cartwheel, it, it blew my mind. I'm not going to go into detail, but let's just say there's more than one way to get here. And it's not involving the the trap chest I was talking about before. And I haven't actually got in here this way before. I ended up here by very wildly different means. Oh yeah, no, the, the giant lobster was great. I was in, in co-op with my friend, and I, I call out that there's a lobster around the corner. And he's like, what do you mean there's a lobster? And I just tell him to come look. He's just at a loss for words when he sees it. At first he thinks it's a damn dinosaur because it's facing the wrong way. Then the claws come around, and he just starts dying laughing. And then he starts dying to lobster claws, and then I start laughing. Okay, there's the map. But as we all know, it's always time for crab. should have the stamina since I don't have two heals and I don't have an intelligence boosting one or anything I only kind of just skirted around some of the edges of this place when I was here before. I didn't actually go through all of it, all of it. 
And even then, I was the co-op player, so I didn't actually get to pick up half the things anyway. Let me tell you, these guys kind of suck to deal with a little bit. Yep, I knew you were coming around the bend. I got wow. The thing is, they're just a bunch of weird alien acrobats. That ledge doesn't let you roll over it. That's a bad bit of signs for me. Of course, the enemies near our damn magic academy are going to have good magic protection shields. Thankfully, they're just as bad at learning their lesson as I am. Curia leaf. I forget what was in this box, because I'm pretty sure I have touched this box before. Bad things? Nope. Ah, this is where that book is. Okay. This is the book that teaches you how to make magic pots and shield grease. Magic pots, of course, are just pots that do magic damage, and shield grease makes your shield better. Now... Admittedly, not really a thing I'm ever going to make use of, because I don't tend to use shields at all. Ignoring the fact that I'm currently wearing a shield on my left arm, that's because I've got nothing else to use that arm for, really. Unless I go spear and stick at the same time, which... Not my finest of ideas, but not the worst idea. I, I literally just hear circus music every time they fucking start cartwheeling around. I, I can't help it. Between these guys cartwheeling and the sheep rolling up into a ball and rolling around, it's impossible to take this game seriously. And that's honestly the best part. <laughs> and I think that's what's helped give me more longevity with this on top of the open world, is just finding something so damn goofy that I stop being angry about how things are going. Because I do find Souls likes immensely frustrating after a point. And I know that's partially just because I've never committed the time to get actually good at them. But they are also kind of frustrating by design. By the same token, the, the frustrating design is also what actually makes winning satisfying to a degree. So, I will never say to stop designing it that way. It just means I tend never to finish them. <laughs> Not that I finished much. I suppose that's a thing, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. Now, mind you, this amount of map we're seeing here, it's pretty big, right? This is not the whole map. There's yet more map to go. Just in case people were wondering, I have, I have seen more of the extent of the map than this. There is a lot more to be had. 
And that's not counting all the interior areas. Just in case anybody hadn't seen the full-size map and were wondering why everybody's saying, Wow, this, this game is damn big. It's because it is. It is very, very big. But at the same time, the horse makes it kind of feel like it's not that big. Because you can cross it reasonably quickly. There's a lot of content crammed in here. Dog. Oh yeah, and the player base doesn't know what a dog is. This time they're right. Mostly. Well, that's just another meme at this point. I've seen them pointing at crabs and saying dog, octopi and saying dog, penguins and saying dog. stone sword key. I need to start spending those somewhere. I've seen many places to use them, and I've used them in none of them. <laughs> I know where a couple of them lead to, because people I know have looked in them. Is To a degree, we're kind of coming together on that a bit, just so we don't waste them wildly. Oh, I found a bear. This just in, I have found a bear, and he does not like that I found him. Yogi is pissed. I am not Boo Boo, leave me alone. Up the rock. I'm betting this is gonna be a dumb message, but I'm curious. Oop, never mind. Yep, that's what that message is there for. Absolutely what that message is there for. It's there to kill people. <laughs> and I fell for it, mostly because falling for that was better than dealing with the bear. Oh, that's less than ideal. Extremely vulnerable moment while I realized my controller battery had died. Uh oh. Really did not like me connecting that controller. Hmm. You know, when I move what port this controller was plugged into, that also was around the same time I lost a bunch of the stutter I was having. It was very similar to that stutter that just happened there. I wonder if I just had a bad port as well. Hmm. Layers within layers, concepts within concepts. Oh. Instead of doing holy magic, these plants do huge amounts of sorcery magic. Okay, great. I'm so glad these plants are better wizards than I am. Yay! Yay, 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 yay. Gimme. No, 
Gimme. Thank you. Huh. It's just a field of flying item beetles. The thing is, they're all magic bottle beetles. Why are there so many of them? I mean, I guess it's not for a mechanical reason. I guess it's just because this area is so rich in magic. Huh. Huh. So I guess that's why there's uh, so many things you can get for dragon hearts, huh? Is because there's a lot of dragons. Yeah, that, yeah, that checks. That checks. I mean, I've, on a, I've been on a roll of bad ideas already. Could always try to take on the dragon. That that is a thing I could do. It is a uh, um, how you say a bad idea. But maybe if I fight him from horseback, that won't actually be as bad. He says, anticipating the exact opposite to be true. Exactly why I'm just gonna summon some wolves as some body blocks. Wakey wakey, Mr. Dragon. Oh yeah, no, I don't move your health bar at all by doing that, huh? And again, it would track that the Glintstone Dragon would have the highest magic resist. This was probably a mistake. And I'm about to make a bigger mistake. Ah! Well. Well, well, so yeah, that happened. We found another dragon, everybody, and it also killed me. <laughs> I can safely say I've died to every dragon I've encountered thus far, except the the one in the Scarlet Rot Land. We got away from that one. I'm gonna go grab my runes and we're gonna find a better direction to exist. Whoop. Grab. I'm going the wrong way to get in there. But you know what? This is more interesting anyway. This is fine. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am now in your town. Now, the biggest advantage to the way I got here the first time is I actually appeared up above where these guys are. So I came in from behind all these guys. And thus did not have problems like them actually, you know, knowing I was here. And instead of firebombs, as you might notice, these guys throw oh, glint stones. And they're upsetting. Because they, too, are kind of better at my job than I am. Of course, I suppose it would help a lot if I'd stopped throwing my souls to dragons.
Where'd I go? I don't exist. I was just the wind. That crazy, crazy wind. Every time they drop something, I get excited, and then it's bolts. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind getting bolts, but I kind of need to actually go get the crossbow before I care that much about that. But it makes sense for me to come back over here Particularly because I wanted to show this. This is the same barrier that's in the town of Sorcery, where all the ghosts are. This is just a much bigger one. Which, you know, bigger barrier for bigger door. So presumably, somewhere down in the town of Sorcery is probably the way to break these barriers. Or it's here somewhere. One or the other. So I've also not checked this meeting place map, which the meeting place map might also be the answer to getting through this door. I was kind of in a hurry when I picked this up before. I need to find it. Ah, there it is. Uh... So you have to get a key to get through the door, and you get the key by going there. Also, I read this again, and now I understand why I completely misunderstood where the the flask of physic is. <laughs> I read the part about the highway bridge and follow the animal trail and thought it meant the the animal trail that goes under the broken bridge. No, I I think I know where that is actually. Because if you think about it, the sunken town is here. Which means the meeting place is probably right here. Or at least that's my interpretation so far of that. Considering layout of this whole area. Now, I don't know for a fact that that's correct. That would make sense. Considering the... the way that that picture's drawn and the way a bunch of the structures here look. I would assume the two are connected. Which that means we gotta get back down. And given the fact that I'm willing to bet this is going to take a bit to accomplish, I'm probably going to track down that key and stop for the night. Because it is a little bit late my time. Not a lot late yet, but a little bit. will never stop being satisfying that I can just jump past all of those problems and just zoom away on the horse. I'm gonna have to be a bit more careful over here because I don't know if there's any parts where there's not ground. I wouldn't put it past them to have one of the, these sections just go straight into ocean. Why 
wise course would be to stay on the side over here. Those guys have magic. They're still targeting me. Okay, they gave up. Now, admittedly, the meeting place might also be this island. Both of them are likely candidates, at least based on the map we have available. It may also be in a different area, for all I know. Also, lobster. Just for those who were like, these guys must be out of their minds talking about lobsters. These, these are just giant death lobsters. No jokes about it. Those are just lobsters. Moving stone two. Then again, this place does look like a place people would choose to meet up. This is a very obvious landmark. Seek three wise beasts. Well, fuck me. Testus rise. You must solve the puzzle to enter. Uh, I don't think these are wise, nor are they beasts. But they're gonna beast me. Oh. That hurt more than I'm used to that hurting. That might be a different type of zombie. It might be three different zombies, then. The, the the red ones we saw in the Scarlet Rod area. Plain gray ones I've seen in the, the beach in another section. And now... Bluish ones that I guess are, like, magic zombies? Maybe? I might, I might be overthinking that. They may be the same ones as I saw as gray ones in the other place. They just may be lit up a little differently. That said, if we if we don't figure anything out with that within the next like fifteen minutes, I may also call it at that point. Is at that point it'll be like ten thirty p.m. my time, which is not great. Oh yeah, I forgot. the The lady that goes crazy over your hands is over here too. This is another one that looks very similar. Right? Sure. Okay. That means a couple potential things to me, but I don't like either of those ideas. Also, not sure why I didn't just do it this way in the first place. <laughs> That's 
much quicker than dealing with going through the town. When in doubt, throw horse. Just try not to throw yourself with the horse too hard. I did not know. There's more than one of you. Huh. Ow. It is also surrounded by these guys. That must be a connection between those, then. Okay. Good to know. File that away in my head for later. What? I'm sorry, what? Why is something trying to strike me with holy lightning? More to the point, what is trying to strike me with holy lightning? So where can I learn that? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. Okay, there's a map over this way. I'm probably intended to go up and then across. So apparently this doesn't up like I thought it was going to. Hmm. That's a problem. This is gonna be a map fragment to an area I haven't been. This is gonna be new. I haven't been all the way up here yet. That place looks interesting. And that's also reinforcing that this is actually the island on the meeting place map, not the, not the other one. What's bugging me about that is there's two islands on that map, and we haven't really seen a place where there's two islands. It may be somewhere completely different, and I'm just barking up the wrong tree because of the, the part that looks like some wreckage, which would logically be this area. 
unless it's one of the smaller islands? Oh, wait. Might be this. Because it's got another island next to it. Yeah, no, that that fits pretty well, actually. I've been barking up the wrong tree. It's over here, probably. I could immediately swing back, but I'm also now kind of curious about this. Ah... That's, that's the problem with trying to set a time to stop playing a game like this, is you keep finding more things. Okay, this solves my, my concerns, though, because I can just teleport back up here now. So what I can do is just teleport back to the, the academy portal, and then go from there. I can either ride just hellbent that way from here or jump off and ride like hell that way. Which, jumping off is probably the better way to do it. So I, I'm betting, I'm betting I'm not strong enough for what's in Lucavia either. Just literally doing one dodgy idea or another trying to get new sorceries is pretty much what's ending up happening today. Which I suppose that's just the nature of being a magic user is you keep doing more and more dangerous things trying to gain more magic. <laughs> and eventually you find something that kills you. <laughs> Or you find immortality. One of the two. Then again, I guess both could happen. You could figure out a way to become immortal, but die before you manage it, too. It's always an option. Oh, there's one of those guys with a really big stick. Wait. This looks like a church. Immediate deviation from the flight path. Hmm. This church looks like it's had better days. Yeah, sure, that's a way to call this. Sure, it's the Rose Church. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Not the ugly red blob church at all, nope. I'm sure it's beautiful to someone. Cursed blood pot. Oh joy. I am so glad I have the ability to make those now. I think something's trying to throw magic at me. Beetle. Blood flame sword. That sounds fun. Wrong way. Right way. Yeah, I'm getting more confident that I'm going the right way for where 
or that meeting place is, is this 100% looks like the, the spot on the map below where we want to be. And conveniently, there's a... a grace here. Kindly stop shooting at my grace. I said base, damn you. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, kindly stop. Oh, that might complicate my plans, though, if that's the island in question up there. Might not be, though. Ooh. Well, son of a bitch. That one just immediately went, nope, I'm gone. It had an immediate warp portal ready. It knew. Ooh. Did it reappear? Is that the noise I heard? There's just these little bastards every- Huh. Okay. It just keeps disappearing immediately. Gotta be sneaky. Gotta be all sneaky-beaky-like. Got it. Thop's Barrier. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Oh! Blood Flame Blade is not a... Not an Ash of War. It's actually an incantation. I need to come here with my other character and go pick this up. That's pretty much exactly one of the damn things I'd want. Okay, this is another shield bonus. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's a... That's a problem I didn't consider. Uh, the meeting place has a dragon problem. That is, of course, all relying on me having read the map right. That said, it also would make an unfortunate amount of sense for the Glintstone Dragon to be guarding a Glintstone Key. Fuck, 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 Stealing your keys. Yep, you had the key. It's mine now. Fuck you, bye. <laughs> Successful heist number two, stealing from a dragon. Aha! Suck it, dragon. You don't even know what you lost. I don't think he even knows what happened. I was just in, grabbed it, you, you heard some cloppy noises, and I was gone. But I have the Academy Key. A little 
unfortunate that apparently it only opens the two sealed gates. It doesn't open the other seals. Well, let's find out. Can I open this door now? Or am I going to need help? Nope, nope. It let me through. And now we're here. Okay. Now, I know of a couple characters that might be very interested in this key, though. So we may be able to make use of that concept in a bit. But first, I'm going to uh, do what I can with it. Because God forbid I give away a key before I've used it. Let's see where this goes. I'm assuming this would just be the other way in. But let's see where it spits me out. I would assume on that bridge. On the other side. Yep, Bellum Highway. Okay. Oh, and hey, you're over here, huh? Okay. You... You... Oh, what a pity it is to be without a right. All that you can do is stand. A loss without even the half crescent fat fish to be whole. And if you're talking about the half crest, I have the other half of I have one half of the crest. Feeling grandly absurd. Ah. Corin, are you planning to throw yourself to the water? Howard's Passage, Dim Cavern. Got it. Presumably relating to this, perhaps. Don't know. That's a statue. There's another knight. Try knight and then boss ahead. Okay. A lot of mounted guys around here. Then again, it is a highway. It would make sense for them to patrol it with knights rather than with foot soldiers. Of course, having foot soldiers to look out makes sense, and there's one over there. And of course, you'd want them guarding the, the roads to important places. Stands to reason that the other end of this highway goes somewhere important, too. church with a big old hole in the bottom of it that's probably not great this is what i wanted i wanted another checkpoint on the other side of that sealed door because i get the feeling that if i do find somebody who wants the key and i give it away 
I'm gonna need access in order to not kind of set myself up for failure a bit. Oh, the nomad's here too. God damn, you get around, buddy. You get, you really do get around. What do you need? I don't want any. Uh, you've got a composite bow. Okay. A cookbook that teaches bone great arrows and bone ballista bolts. A rift shield. Your shield. He has one of the more interesting sets of stuff, but nothing I particularly want right now. Hmm. But now this is this is over the time I plan to go, so I'm going to stop myself before I keep on going. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, things. Ooh, stuff. Ooh, a piece of candy. All the way down onto the other end of the damn universe. There's for the rest of the night. And of course, no one really needs to be disappointed by this because I'm going to be live again earlier tomorrow. It'll most likely be somewhere in the range of like 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Let me just quickly take a look and see where I can send people tonight. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I mean, I've got one that'd be fitting and one that would be polite. And a couple other options that might be more interesting. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna send everybody yeah I'm, I'm gonna go with Mr. answer C because I don't I don't particularly feel like sending everybody to watch somebody else that's playing Elden Ring and I don't particularly feel like watching some apex right now. So I'm going to send everybody to see J.K. Posse, since he's playing Splitgate, which I still have yet to see anything of. So we'll, we'll go with that. As always, thank you all for being here for whatever reason you've all chosen to be here. I still don't entirely understand that. And have a good night or day, or whatever time it happens to be for y'all. And hopefully my raid works correctly this time, and actually, you know, sends me where I need to be. Okay, I'll text you up. Bye-bye.